Hi. In this one, I'm going to show you sort of one of the basic things that you'll probably want to do with your instruments, which is how to add a velocity modulator to the gain parameter of, in this case, a sine wave generator, and how to link it to a control on the UI. So the first thing is we're going to click the pencil icon to unlock the module tree. We've got our sine wave generator here, but this will work for all the sound generators in highs. We're going to go to the gain modulation section and we're going to click this plus button here. Uh, we can also get to that by if we click the sine wave generator and open the big view, we can go to gain and click the plus button here. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter if you're clicking it over here in the module tree or if you're clicking it in the larger version. So we click this, we go to voice start and we select velocity modulator and that adds it here. Velocity modulator, we could rename it if we want to. And if we want to have a table so we can edit the velocity curve, we can click this button here to use the table. And now we can edit the curve, we can add nodes, we can right click on them to remove them. So now I'll show you how to connect this to a UI control. So on the UI, we can add a table. So I'm just right clicking and I'll go to add new table. And in this drop down over here where it says processor ID, I'm going to select our velocity modulator. And I'll hit compile. And now if I open the velocity modulator, we can see these two are connected together. Now in a situation where you have more than one uh, sound generator, you may want to have the velocity controls linked. And there are methods through scripting by which we could link one table to multiple controls. But in this situation, there's actually an easier solution. So let's start by adding another sine wave generator. And I'm going to remove our velocity modulator from the first one. Then I'm going to right click on our first sine wave generator because what I want to do is add a global modulation container, but I want it to be before the sine wave generator. So I right click on the sine wave generator and I can select global modulator container and it will add it before the sine wave generator. Another way to do that and one that will work in earlier versions of highs where this won't is to go to the main, uh, the big view and right click on the sine wave generator here, go to add processor before this module, and then we get the same options and it's global modulator container. So now in the global modulator section, we're going to add our velocity modulator. We're going to give it the table. I'll just hit compile to uh, update our script. And we've got the previous velocity modulator here, which actually has the same name. So what we need to do is uh, just clear this out. So I'm just clicking on the table here. I'm pressing J and I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to hit apply there. Okay, now I can select the new one here, the one we just added and click compile. So now these are linked in the same way as the previous one was. But because this is a global modulator, we can now add it to both of our sine wave generators. So we go to voice start, global voice start modulator, click on it, and now we can select the modulator there. And we'll do the same for the second one. Voice start, global voice start, and select it there. Uh, one advantage of doing it this way with a global modulator, global table, even if you're not using multiple sound generators, is you now have another layer of control. You could add a secondary table. So if you wanted like a sub-level control, you can have that as well. Okay, I hope you found this quick tip useful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.